Alrighty, we're back right where we left off in part 21. We just beat the 7th gym leader and gained Mega Evolution. Straight up Mega Evolution. Let's get out of here. I bet you I can walk right back in this little teleportation thing. Yes. Sweet. Alright, let me heal up, yeah? No story yet, no story yet. Okay. And we're about to meet Professor Bambo. He's gonna give us an upgrade to our Pokedex or something. And he said he was flying here. So I'm really hoping he also gives us fly. Because it's about damn time. Where is he? Should I walk out of town? Like, what the fuck? Hey, my guy. Okay, there he is. I flew here on Pache as soon as I got the phone call from Theo. Well, it helped that I was already in East Andor. <laughs> I was catching some waves. Really? <laughs> uh, doing important field work, that is. Ah. So it's true, you managed to defeat the gym and gain the power of Mega Evolution. Yeah, an ADHD man and I battled on top of a mountain. It was awesome. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Wonderful. Goodness, it's been so long. Look at how much you two have grown. I remember when you were there in my lab for the first time, taking your trainer test. What is this, the 8th gym? It's acting like the game's over. <laughs> and you weren't very happy about your result, Theo. Yeah, don't remind me. But now I'm glad I have Electruxo. It's like, it feels like it's been a year. And he's finally mature. It's funny. We were able to use Mega Evolution together. Indeed. As you know, Mega Evolution was discovered recently in the Kalos region. It involves a reaction between a Mega Stone held by a Pokemon and a Keystone like the one on your Mega Bracelet. This reaction is made possible by the bond that you and your Pokemon share. There are several Tandor Pokemon capable of Mega Evolution, particularly the starter Pokemon that I gave to you. In order to evolve them, though, you will need to find their Mega Stones. Those are hidden all around Tandor, and I can't say exactly where you'll find them. It's a treasure hunt. Sweet! Yeah, I only need one more, and I know where it is. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now then, if you're going to going to be encountering Mega Pokemon, I'll need to give you both an upgrade to your Pokedexes. Sweet, got an upgrade. You now be able to record data on all the Mega Pokemon you encounter. Look forward to your findings. Now then, what more can you tell me about your adventure? What? <laughs> you visited Larkspur's lab, and his thugs ambushed you, and oh dear, oh dear, yeah, I got fucking like kidnapped, my guy. By your old accomplice, you douche. It's insane. I can't believe that guy would go so far. Uh huh. Should have warned you. Yes, y that might have helped. When I knew him in university, Larkspur was always unscrupulous. He'd go to any lengths to get recognized, and he didn't care who got hurt in the process. I'm glad to hear you managed to break free and get your Pokemon bank. You and Garlic Kid make a good team. <laughs> Garlic Kid's in the box. <laughs> I'm glad you found each other. So, Professor, where do we go now? All right. Well, you're almost finished with the gym challenge. Only one gym remains, and it's in Sukanimi Village. Sweet. To the south of Vanessi City. Unfortunately, that stretch of ocean is a battleground of pirates and ninjas. But I'm the Hokage, evidently. <laughs> the pirates are growing threat here in East Tandor. It makes traveling the seas very difficult. Not to mention the East Tandor nuclear plant is near Sukunimi as well. I'm worried that whatever or whoever it was that caused the meltdowns will strike again. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no nuclear explosion. Or Pokemon. <laughs> yes, I imagine you two can make, take care of yourselves. I'm just being cautious, that's all. Plus, there are some Pokemon that there that you will need to complete your Pokedex. They are rare Pokemon found only at the bottom of the sea. In order for you to find them, I'll have these HMs for you too. HMs? Do I get dive and fly? Because I just got dive. <sighs> Maybe not. Can't wait to find some Pokemon, uh, awesome Pokemon on the ocean floor. Plus, I hear there are legendary Pokemon that live there too. I can't express how proud I am of you too. I know that you will only impress me more as time goes on. Tired of standing around, I'm going to go to Sukunimi and get my 8th badge. Do I need dive to get there? Oh, yeah, yeah, I hope not. 
Forgive me, but I must be off. I'm doing research on nuclear Pokemon. The Tandor Rangers are trying to find a cure. And I still can't have fly, you motherfucker! <laughs> Since it's an elemental affliction, I think I can help. Remember, if you encounter any nuclear types, catch them for me. I'd love to study them back at the lab. Hmm. And, I know you're strong, but do be careful. The last nuclear power plant in Tandor is to the west of Tsukunami. Tsukunami. I'm worried that whatever caused the other plants to melt down could strike again. And look out for Theo, okay? And then you show off fly to me. You're an ass. You're a straight up ass. Why can't I fly? It'd be so nice to fly. I, I just want to fly. In normal Pokemon games, you're able to fly way before the seventh gym or eighth. Like, come on, man. I'm moving on to the 8th gym and I can't fly? <sighs> it would just make it a little bit easier for me. Just a little bit. But either way, the nice part is I have Siren types flipping Mega Stone. That's so cool. Okay. So let's put... Wait, 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 wait. Let's examine some speeds here. We got 102, 126, um, 129. Okay, Pajay is currently fastest. Let's just put it in front. So we can basically run from everything since I can't fly anywhere and I'm going to have to run through this entire route just to get back. I can't believe that nonsense. It's like it's like forcing me to buy repels just to get anywhere, and I don't want to have to do that. This is nonsense. I just want to walk. I just want to walk. <laughs> oh, don't! Right on the edge of the place. <laughs> Damn it! You can make it, man. I hate that one. Okay. Keep it going. We don't have to actually enter the cave, I don't think, until now. Okay. Then we just go down. That's the waterfall, right? So this is the first cave, and I can be out. With the stinking route. And then we'll have to surf and everything else to get all the way back down to where we want to go. And we'll find out if we need to deep dive when we get there. We'll have to use our Siren Tide. Pretty sure that's the only one that probably can use it anyway. And we'll have to use it and then unlearn it later, I guess. Uh, I think. Nope, not that way. This way. This way. Here we go. Oh, there's a man. This is new. You wouldn't happen to be a Pokemon trainer now, would you? Har, har, har. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Listen, I've been assailing these oceans since I were a wee lad. As of late, there's been an ill tide. You might have heard, but there be pirates in these waters. A frail old fisherman like me doesn't stand a chance against them. With a strong trainer on board, I reckon they'll leave us alone. And ye perhaps heading to Vanessa City? I'd be more than happy to give you a lift. Sure. Er, I mean, Arg, I blew it. Is it? Oh, it's just a pirate. Uh. <laughs> I disguised myself as an old man. I was planning to steal all your Pokemon while we were at sea. And then me pirate catchphrase slipped out. Guess we gotta do this the hard way. Give me your Pokemon, or you'll be walking the plank. <laughs> 
Pirate Jack actually looks kind of cool. Okay. Ooh, a Swabone. That's cool. It's like a new take on Cubone, I assume. All right. Um. Let's see. What should we do? We could the Air Slash. Um. So what types are they? I think I need to switch Curie Corn anyway. Because I'm pretty sure Vilucard is a poison type. And Swabone could also be a poison type. If we switch to Metal Links, we won't be able to use our fire move. That's all we need to remember. That's fine. So they're probably going to poison my unicorn. Nice flinch. Hammer arm? What? Hammer arm? Fucking nonsense. At least his speed fell. Um, okay. Air slash the Vila card again, and... We could try to Meteor Mash, um, Swamp Bone, and hope for the best. Nice. Good hit. And we kill. Nice. I have barely any experience. Ew. What the hell is that? Agros? It kind of looks nuclear. Or just poison. Maybe electric? Hmm. If it is electric, let's switch. Let's, uh... Let's bring seek a meter out to play. That might be a good idea, and we'll meteor mash it again. The pirates definitely have some interesting Pokemon. I feel like I finally found the team though, because it's even like team music going on in my ears. Like Team Walk or Team Magma. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Let's try attack it and maybe Beef Blade it? I don't know what type it is, but it resisted my Meteor Mash. It didn't do much damage to us. Well, that's not very effective either. What is this thing? Can normal affect it, at least? Yes, but of course it left it at 1 HP, because why wouldn't it leave it at 1 HP? <laughs> Can Night Slash? Just keep sucker punching me. Well, at least Night Slash was neutral. Hmm. What the hell is that thing? Gotcha, Pirate Jack. Can I have your boat? <laughs> Silva's gonna be mad at me for this. Mark my words, Landlubber. You haven't seen the last of Pirate Jack. Excuse me, I watched your battle from afar. That guy was a pirate, right? I thought he might be. Normally the Black Flag Pirates don't stray this far north. They're getting more rowdy as of late. Anyway, I wanted to thank you. You showed him a lesson. Hopefully he won't come sniffing around Silverport again. If there's anything I can do to thank you... Oh, I can give you a ride to Vanessa City. On my boat, if you like. Yes, please? I was like, is this a pirate? No. Okay. Cool. I'm in Vanessa City. Oh, I thought that was Theo behind the flag. I was like, what are you doing, Theo? <laughs> it isn't. That wasn't Theo. Alright, that was interesting enough. Silly pirates. Pokemon are for trainers. Alright, um, what should I move ahead with? We shouldn't have Pajay out first. Let's have seek -a meter out first. If we're dealing with water types, that's not bad, because it's got Thunderbolt, right? Um, and have maybe Dunseraph in second? Something like that might work. Now where are we going? Is there a path I can take to get off of this? Let's look at the map. So, we're trying to get to Sukunimi Village. It's to the right and down. Okay. 
so happy we have a map. Now, here we go, I think. I think we can go this way. And like I said, we'll find out if we need dive. Yep, looks like I found the way I need to go. Let's battle you, man. My swimming muscles are so strong, I can swim for days. Yeah, we still need to battle people and level up, of course. Come on, Roland. Alright, that's a blubble rog. That's only level 40. Okay, so we'll go for the tail glow. I wonder if I need tail glow. I'm not acid armored. That doesn't matter at all. So let's um, give it a good old thunderbolt. <laughs> nice. Good experience, too. A uh, brain or stay. Oh, mater. This is going to be excellent. We don't need to make an evolution on you. You're already a legendary. <laughs> Level 51. Excellent. I'll try it without tail glowing a battle and see if I'm already strong enough. Always be on your guard in the ocean. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Am Amalia. Oh, a shrimp booty. Ooh, that was a fire water. Technically good against my Seekamator, so let's just go for a straight Thunderbolt. Right? Right? <laughs> nice! It helps when you're so high level. Uh, Glavina. Stay. Water Ice. Thunderbolt. I like that the Thunderbolt's purple. That's pretty cool. Skadoosh. Uh, Titan Ice. No, that's just pure ice. Pure ice, um, I guess, Pajay. Yeah. Either Pajay or Metal Lynx, but Metal Lynx is so far ahead in level compared to the rest of my team. I should use the other ones to try to catch up with him. Lava Bloom. Nice. I feel so good to be able to one-shot. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to face it. I don't care about your damn number. Looks like we've got a double battle we're going to be looking at. So, Dunseraph and seek a meter? I don't see why not. Let's do it. Well, well, well let's not. We'll have, to, we'll have to take a second here. Hold on. Seek a meter should be faster. It's not terribly so, and it's like 15 levels higher. Do you think this trainer wants to play? I do. Chris and Caroline. A Letux and a Corsica. Okay. Okay, I can do that. So we Thunderbolt the Corsica. And we Skyfall? No. Dragon Falls. Elitux. Elitux would resist Skyfall. Damn. <laughs> Didn't give us very much experience, though. It gave us 258. That was like tiny experience for a starter. I mean, it was the first evolution, but still. Ooh, look at all this terrible experience. Well, that's better. Ah, the evolutions. Okay. Well, same thing. Thunderbolt and Dragon Pulse. See how this does this time. Okay. Couldn't one shot the Electrux. So what about Corsary? We one shot that. It's gonna rain dance or something. Something silly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, just randomly use that because I know it's too slow for Dunsera to. Go faster. GG, ma'am and madame. 
Hey, 52 for Dunsera. Excellent. I love my team. Ugh. Turns out I need dive. Bummer. Ah, it makes sense when they give it to you and say, you're going to need this. <laughs> I don't want to use it. Mm. Holy balls, I got too many TMs and HMs now. All right, dive. Yep, turns out only Siren type can learn it. Yes. I guess we'll get rid of Aqua Ring for now. That's the only one we don't really use that much. So I guess it's not that big a deal. Oh. Oh, it's a diver. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I thought it was a Pokemon. Hey, you're interrupting my solo dive time. I think I could have just came down earlier. I think that's the only thing. What the fuck? Okay, that's cool. It's like an eel, but I'm pretty sure it's not just an eel. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to switch. Uh, Siren type. I'm pretty sure that's the fire dragon I saw, which is crazy because it lives in the ocean. That's like super cool. I didn't know it came out of the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, yeah, over here. Uh-huh. That's, uh... That's a chase. It's a good thing it reduces. Okay. We're going to surf. Oh, yeah, we could have Mega Evolution. I forgot. Yeah, and I checked the controls. There's no reason why it's not working. It's just not working. Okay, it weakened us a lot, so let's go ahead and hype potion. And I want to, um, I want to, I want to mega evolve our Siren Tide. It's like too much. <laughs> okay, so we gotta use our mouse. Z, click it. There we go. Now, sir. Oh yeah, epic. <laughs> so badass. I love that the Mega Evolution guy gives you any Mega Evolution stone you want, depending on if you have the Pokemon already. That's so amazing. Siren Tide might have been one of the hardest ones to get, just because you have to get it after the game's already over. Hmm. Like the one you, um... The one you have to get by getting, like, a bunch of freaking coins in the, uh in the um casino that one's a pain in the ass nope you can just bring your pokemon to the seventh gym leader and grab it if you want it's only one but that's still flipping amazing so since he's level 54 let's tail glow i just got a bug underwater no problem it has ancient power what the fuck for it is a brain or have ancient power it's kind of dumb Luckily, I'm only a bug normal, so I'm not a bug flying. Hehe. <laughs> you thought you were going to do something, Brainor. Well, 52. Nice. Uh, Tuberiel. Yeah, we'll stay. Uh huh. I got something for you, Tuberiel. We've tail glowed, and I got Thunderbolt. Nice. Never have to worry about that stupid thing ever again. Dude, what are the Elite Four going to be like? I just realized. They're going to be a pain in my ass, aren't they? Hmm. If it is indeed an Elite Four, I assume it is. That's the normal setup. Dude, I don't know if I want Quiver Dance. Tail, tail glows good on its own. Well, Quiver Dance, we don't learn until like level 65. So, Tail Glow is good for now. Hey, you're pretty strong, so I'll let you in on a secret of mine. Sometimes you can find rare items and shards by breaking up old dead corals. Oh, yeah. Because it helps revitalize the ecosystem, too. I'll give you this tea and make good use of it. Oh, yeah. Coral break. That's kind of cool. Um, not useful for us, though. 
I did want to check that um, dragon move that the the guy gave us. There's Coral Break. Caustic Breath. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's why, because nobody can learn it. You mean my Dun Seraph, my dragon type, can't learn it? Oh man, that would have been so cool. Well, I'm not going to worry about breaking Coral. Random items. That's nice. Oh, there's Rain Dance. That's what I needed, actually. Oh. I went diving for treasure, but instead I found a trainer. Yes, you did. Because you missed the TM for some reason. Mario. Oh, Lord, it's Kiri Volver. Level 55. Now, it could go for a fire move. So let's go straight for a Thunderbolt and see how well we do. Shit, it's faster. Don't kill us. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Shit. Well, Carry Volver. That was impressive. Um. Guess we'll just have to use Metal Links. No. Wait, no. That would be horrible. Interesting. Interesting, Carry Volver. You're a fire and a water type. I guess I can use Siren Tide. That would be neutral. How interesting. Fucking, it just shot me with a damn flamethrower gun. Sheesh. Yeah, baby. Mega Evolution. Surf. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beat the Queen of the Ocean, baby. I'm faster. Have some respect, Cure Evolver. That's right. <laughs> Uh, about to send in its own Siren Tide. Should I just stay and battle out Siren Tides? Because that's cool. Yes. Oops. <laughs> Siren Tide versus Siren Tide, baby. Um, Surf would probably resist, but Moonblast probably wouldn't. Yeah, see, that's why it Moonblasted me. Somehow it's faster, even though I'm Mega Evolved. Like, one level is really the difference? Haha. <laughs> That's the damage I'm looking for. I don't like that it's faster, but I'm doing way more damage. Yep, just gotta leave it at that 1 HP like always. No problem, no problem. Not the most essential battle, but it was cool. <laughs> gotcha, Mario. Alright. It hurt my queen bee, though. My big queen bug. Not cool, man. So, revive the queen bug. And, um... Hyper Potion on Seekamator and Siren Tide. I'm glad you can Mega Evolve all the time. Not this like once in a while. Let's go up. Cool. I think it's faster when you're surfing on the surface than diving underground. Are we almost to Sukunimi Village? Well, it seems we have pirates, just like we had the damn ninjas before. Avast, ye filthy landlubber, you've run afoul of the Black Flag Pirates. Surrender your Pokemon, or we'll sink you to the bottom of the sea. Gar, wait just a minute, I know this one. He battled outside of Silverport. You lost to this kid, Jack? <laughs> well, they're stronger than they look. I like the idea that they only act like pirates, and so they, when they're talking like this, they just go back to normal and they don't have their accents. <laughs> Jack, this is why you're only a swabby. If we can bring the captain some strong Pokemon, we'll definitely get a promotion. Maybe even a ship of our own. Listen, kid, you might be you might have beat my partner, but there's no way you can handle both of us together. Face it, you're outnumbered. You should surrender now or we'll sink ya. They're a toughen, that's for sure. Have at ye, the black bag pirates, Jack and Silva will send you to Davy Jones Locker. Alright. Bring it on. The same thing they did last time. Okay. 
pretty sure I don't need to worry about anything, but we'll go ahead and Tail Glow. And we'll use Skyfall against Swabo. Okay, how much does Drain Life do against Dunsera? A decent amount, to be honest. I don't like that. Paralyze it. Or kill it. That's cool too. Oh, super effective! It must be a fighting type. Yeah, thanks for letting me have a tail glow. Ah, oh, very good. A tub of reel. Let's go ahead and thunderbolt that. Now let's come over here. It's Skyfall by Lucard. Poison Sting, really? That's it? Okay. How much damage? Ooh, it's good. Didn't paralyze the Thunderbolt after a tail glow. Doesn't matter if it's level 54, it's dead. Gosh, I love my team. It's so damn good. Ah, Skelarone. It must be the evolution. Well, let's go ahead and try attack the Vilu card so that way we can Skyfall the Skelarone. Okay, train life on Dun Seraph again. Down to 100, that's fine. Hopefully this kills this guy. He's like the quintessential pirate Pokemon. I mean, look at that. <laughs> he's got a hook, he's got a peg leg, but he's also dead. It must be like dark fighting, I bet. Let's get very much experience for it. Try attack, baby. Skadoosh? You dead? Yeah, okay. <laughs> nice job. I love these two together. They're cool. Ah, oh, and that thing again. So let's try attack it. And Dunseraf. Uh, oops, let's roost. I probably tried to sucker punch Dunseraf. It's too bad. We're healing. These both can heal. I just realized they both can heal. <laughs> Zap it, dude. Maybe get one of the effects. That'd be pretty cool. No? Okay. Finish it off. Um. Use a dragon pulse on it. Maybe it's a dragon, you never know. It's probably dark since it keeps using Sucker Punch. Wow. The dragon pulse couldn't kill it. That's. Wow. Good thing we had our Seekamator. 53. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. And a, just a simple little Swabone. Um, go ahead and heal yourself for that small amount of damage, just because you can. This Skyfall's gonna finish it off anyway. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Excellent. Pirates be easy so far. We lost? <laughs> Jack, you idiot. This is your fault. This is like Team Rocket, right? James and fucking Jesse. <laughs> My fault. You're the one who thought this trainer would be easy. The Arg, the captain, isn't going to like it when she hears of this. Oh, it's a she captain. We should get out of here quickly. Otherwise, we might run into the ninjas. That's because I'm a Hokage. You're trespassing on our sea. Pirate scum not allowed so close to home village. You shall pay the price for threatening our boss. Surfing ninja. Strike! <laughs> yeah. We're sorry we could not arrive sooner, boss. <laughs> I love that I'm Hokage. It's retarded. <laughs> Alright, it's close to the village. It is bad sign. Nice English. We must report to our elders. Uh, boss ADHD man is strong and noble. You shall become well be welcomed in our village. In Sukunami... We have our house. Please visit. If it is to your pleasing. Alright. Ninja away. I'm even surfing like the damn ninjas. Look at me go. There's still Pokemon in my way though. Alright. There 
is this where I think this is where we need to be? Nope, this is looks like another halfway point or something. Okay. It's the crab. Get away from the crab. Let's grab that item. Team 58 endure. I almost feel like I already had that. Oh, the floats are. Too bad these are all very low level to be on this for the area. I think they'd be higher. Can't escape. Shut up. I don't care how fast you are, floats. I'll get out of here. Thank you. Alright, where am I going? Can I still go to the right here a little bit? Uh, yeah, okay. Come on. I can still keep going. It's the ninja fish. At, at least they don't require me to have the ninja fish to be the Hokage. Yeah, screw that, guys. We don't want ninja fish. Ah, I guess I made it to Tsukunami Village. Wonderful. Hello. You have arrived. It is at. It is as we were told. You are welcome to our village. When you are ready, the master awaits you in his dojo. Who's the master? I thought I was the master. I thought I was the Hokage. Hmm. This village exists as a symbol of harmony between our people. We came together to build this as a sign of peace after hundreds of years of war. Well, that's nice. The bright shining moon reflected by ocean waves. Tsukunami Village. Statue of the mighty Daikatuna. Oh, jeez. At any given moment in this village, there are at least ten ninja around. You just can't see us most of the time. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> it's not exciting to me. Oh, look at all these ninjas. Hello, I am Ronan. The Wave Clan is like my family. I am Jinan. Uh, the Pokemon Seidin is my secret weapon. This one's name is Chunin. Uh, I ride the waves as swiftly as the wind. Somebody's watched way too much Naruto. I am one that is called Junin. I attack my attack by throwing Phryni like knives. Okay. And who are you? So, you have arrived to see me at my very lowest point. Stricken by my shameful defeat. Oh, this is the Hokage, I guess. Uh, so easily overcome by a child. I cannot show my face outside my village until I have mastered the six sacred arts under Grandmaster Yoshitaka. Oh, so there's somebody above the Hokage. Okay. But so long as his ace disciples are scattered to the winds, my training remains incomplete. I must grow stronger. You and I will have our fated rematch one day. Okay. Whoops. Huh. So am I only Hokage of like those four people? <laughs> that, that might be a thing. Okay. So what's this house? Normal people. How am I to describe the supreme leaders? Well, to put it simply, they are the spiritual, political, and historical foundation of Tsukunami. Without them, we would not know peace. They are truly blessed by the gods. Okay. I am of the Suki clan, and my wife of clan Nami. Suki Nami. Okay. If not for the example set forth by our leaders Hinata and Kaito, a love such as ours could never have happened. I guess it goes to show how powerful love can be. Okay. Princess Hinata is bright like the sun. We bow our heads to shield our eyes from her radiance. Okay. Where's Naruto at this point? You're a trainer, right? Then you should show... You should know Kaito and Hinata are the gym leaders of Tsukunami. They don't use any particular type, but their name is Night and Day. So, fairy and dark type, maybe? The Temple of Atios and Mutios is the biggest building in our village. Uh, it was erected to signal the end of the war that lasted more than a hundred years. Since the temple is also a gym, all battles inside are sacred rituals. Okay. I guess I know where I'm going, and I know who I'm battling. Why do we wear black all the time? Well, because it's cool, duh. Plus, you can't tell when it gets dirty. I'm pretty sure it's for more reasons than that, but... Whatever. <laughs> Alright, dude, what's you? My house has many extra rooms, so I converted it to a hotel. Please be respectful by our guests. Okay, this is who I think I needed to find for my Mega Evolution Stone. Right here, baby, right here. Aha! Minicorn! I want to see a minicorn. Have you got a minicorn? I've got a Kiricorn. 
Oh my gee, you have a mini corn squeal. It's so fluffy. Eee. <laughs> it's so happy. Oh, I'm so, so happy. This is the best day ever. Here, I want you to have this sparkly rock. There it is. Mega evolution time for the unicorn. I keep telling myself that this is only a phase. Still, she is determined. Maybe when she's older, I'll let her get a Pokemon. I could, you know, I could breed her a mini corn. I bet she'd be fucking ecstatic. <laughs> Let's see. Kiri Cornite. Sweet. It was holding the pretty ribbon, which was pretty cute, but you know, that's good. Alright. Now we got three at Mega Evolutions. Sweet. Half our team can Mega Evolve. Oh, a Musharna. What? Hello there. I'm Fennel. Oh, dude. It's straight up Fennel from Unova. Holy crap. I decided to come here on vacation since this region has an interesting and unique culture. And this is Dream, my Musharna. I specialize in research on Pokemon Dreams. I even helped build a device called a Dream Visualizer. Using Musharna's power, I can look inside the dreams of Pokemon. It, it's truly fascinating. Huh? <laughs> You're saying there's a little girl in Vanessa City who's trapped in a dream? That's a little outside my expertise. I mostly ex specialize in Pokemon Dreams. Still, there must be something I can do to help. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to Vanessa City and see if I can help this girl. After all, that, what's the point of science if I can't make people's lives better? I'll see you there, I hope. Hmm. I totally just did a side quest. I didn't mean to. I'll have to visit that. What's going on here? I'm the Pokemon Physical Attack Move Tutor. I know every physical attack based move that a Pokemon can learn using ancient secrets. If you have four red shards, I may be able to teach you a new move. Okay. Pokemon Debuff Move Tutor... Blah, 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 green shards, okay. Buff move tutor, blah, 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 yellow shards. <laughs> and special attack move tutor, blah, 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 blue shard. So, oops. Yeah, we don't have any shards, so we can't do any of that. Doesn't matter, we got what we needed. Just a second... We've only explored, like, the left side of the village. Let's see. We ninjas are working on our image. The whole mysterious and deadly thing doesn't make for great PR. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this, is this the place? Legend Museum treasures and artifacts of cultures long ago. Okay. This is not the place. This is someplace else. Hello. Hello and welcome to Tsukunami's Museum of Legends. Here we are dedicated to preserving the history and culture of civilizations of Tandor long past. Would you like to view every collection? Sure. 150 bucks, I can afford that. Welcome, we hope you enjoy. Cool. Please don't touch the exhibits. Many of them are priceless antiques. What's this? <laughs> Immediately touches object. <laughs> Model of Nami Clan Longship. Hmm. To control the seas and islands around the region, the clans needed a powerful armada. These ships were packed with cutting-edge technology and weapons. They all harbored armies of battle Pokemon equipped for ocean warfare. Hmm. I used to be... Wait, I used to be that no one could challenge the clans for dominance over the sea. Sure, it was a time of violent war, but they also made sure that merchants had safe passage. Now that the clans are gone, there are pirates everywhere. Hmm, bummer. I can't believe the Venessi Theater is over 200 years old. Well, it's no surprise then that they had... What? It's no surprise then that they held such traditional views. Still, it's great to see the modern generation bringing fresh innovation. Hmm. What's this? Map of Tandor 200 years ago. Tandor was ruled by a feudal system of government with constant battles between Suki and Nami over territory. Suki ruled much of the mainland in West Tandor, while Nami controlled the islands in the east. The kings of these clans demanded taxes from the peoples under their rule. However, these rulers were also known to be patrons of the arts. This is how the tradition of theater began in what is known now Venezia City. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Traditional weapons used in warfare between the ninja clans. 
This spear was made from a metal inked tail. Nice, dude, that's so cool. It is thought that poaching uh, for use in weapons and armor is why metal inks are so rare in Tandor today. Well, that's also lame, but cool. <laughs> Under the old kings, only the nobility were allowed to raise Pokemon. Any peasant who was caught training Pokemon was thrown in jail or sentenced to death. Wow. I can't even imagine what life without Pokemon would be. Yeah, no kidding. That's some bullshit. Look like wigs. Traditional war helmets. Sorry. Of Suki and Nami clans. Helmets were often made to resemble Pokemon such as Luchabra. These were used in battle to give the wearer an intimidating look. So you're mixing... Uh, Hispanic culture with uh, Japanese. That's fine, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Stone carving by indigenous Baikal tribes. Okay. Not very much is known about the indigenous groups that lived in Baikal rainforest. They predate the Suki and Nami civilization by 300 years. Holy shit. However, they vanished from the region due to unknown reasons around 400 years ago. All we know about them was learned from observing the artifacts and ruins they left behind. That's cool. What do you think happened to the people who lived in Baikal Rainforest? Do you think they just disappeared? They might have got eaten by the bugs. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's might might probably what happened. They probably just got eaten by the bugs. Okay, this is interesting. Man, I really want a Yadagaru. One, where can I catch one? That's this thing, I guess. The Stormbringer Pokemon. This rare Pokemon is sacred to the ninja clans. It can summon storms at will. It is often depicted fighting th with Codelith. Oh, so, yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. Leishur, the Earthshaker Pokemon. This Pokemon struck fear into early Tandorians by causing earthquakes with its massive tails. One particularly fearsome one was called the Beast of 1,000 Horns by locals. Damn, these are cool. Gentle, protective, yet so powerful. The perfect Pokemon. Hmm. You want to know how to catch Atios and Lutios? Ha! <laughs> Listen, have you ever heard of the Pokemon Ho-Oh and Lugia? Latios and Latias? Xerneas and Yveltal? Reshiram and Zekrom? Those are all aspects of the two great spirits. Hmm. Don't believe me? Ask the gym leaders Hinata and Kaito. They are the mortal avatars of the gods, after all. Okay. Alright. Atios and Lutios, the gods of Tandor. Atos and Mutios are worshipped all over Tandor in various ways. Some say that they are Pokemon, some said say that they are spirits without form. There are accounts of them taking on avatars and granting powers and visions. Huh. Okay, cool. Kind of yin and yang, I like that. After our clans came together, we built this museum to commemorate our culture, and then we expanded to other cultures around Tandor. Whoa, what are these? What are you looking at, mate? I'm not here for any malarkey, got it? Just looking at some big statues. Definitely not gathering evidence for the captain. Oh, that's a pirate. What's this? Kraken now. The vengeful mailstorm. Whoa. It's a kraken. Of course there's a kraken. That's cool. The third and most feared of the sea legends, Kraken now, would use its many arms to drag people to their watery doom. It is spoken about in children's tales and nursery rhymes. It was controlled by the Nami clan. Whoa. It could create a whirlpool big enough to sink a battleship. Records talk of it being slain in battle, but there are rumors of it being sighted in more recent times. Yeah, might, maybe it had a kid, or left an egg behind, or maybe it's still the same one. Who knows? Hmm. By Tatao, the Boiling Wrath. Is this the one that swum in the river? This mighty serpent is perhaps the best known of the three legendary sea creatures due to a famous shipwreck that happened 45 years ago. Yeah, that wasn't that long ago. A freighter went missing and turned up several weeks later with its hull partially melted off and not a single soul on board. Jeez, many believe this is to be a sign that Baitatao had emerged from hibernation. However, scientists have still not been able to locate it since then. Okay, and what's this monstrosity? Leviathan. Oh, it's a Leviathan. That's so cool. The Frozen Spear. Hmm. The second? So, we've got the Kraken, which I don't know what type it is. The middle one seemed like it might be a fire water 
and this one might be an ice water. The second of the three legendary sea creatures, it had a deadly sharp ice horn on its head. There are records which show it was in the possession of the Suki clan for a period of time. Oh, when they lost possession of it, the empire fell apart soon after. It is thought to still hibernate within icy cavern on the sea floor. Cool. Oh, and what's this? This scroll depicts an unknown legendary Pokemon, some sort of bird. Okay. Maybe that's the mythical. Well, that was cool and very educational. <laughs> I like that kind of stuff. All right. What else we got? We got an item. Ooh, TM98 Last Resort. That's good. You got some items for me or something? Are you a Pokemon collector? Surely you are researching or, or searching to capture them all, yes? These items will help you with that. How may I serve you? Ooh, Love Ball, Lure Ball, Heavy Ball, Moon Ball, Fast Ball, Love Ball, Friend Ball. Um, it's too bad you don't have a timer or a quick ball. Uh, so no. Thanks, though. Is that anything special? No? Okay. Let's see. This statue depicts the Pokemon Yadagaru. It is rare and sacred to the ninja clans. Only the Proven are allowed to train them. They say Yadagaru has the power to summon thunderstorms at will. That's why it's called the Storm Ring. Hmm. Statue of the Great Yadagaru. Is that like the, the, the given pseudo-legendary of the, you know, the game? Rare foods and treasures from as far as the wind blows. You can buy them here. Alright, what do you got? Hello, hello. I sell rare delicacies from all over the world. Welcome. Let's see what you got. Coconut milk, carrot wine, and lava cookies. That's nice. Let me bite some more carrot wines. Like four of them. Thank you. <laughs> carrot wines are good. Alright, oops. Who are you? Hiya. I see you are a trainer. I sell items to give your Pokemon an edge in battle when I serve you. Ah, Choice Band, Scarf, Focus Sashes, Expert Belt, Life Orb, Flame Orb, Toxic Orb, Scope Lens, White Lens, Zoom Lens, hmm. I don't think I need any though because I got my Mega Stones. Oops. Hmm, okay. And Tsukunami, Holy Temple, and Pokemon Gym. Did I see a... I was going to say, I don't think I've seen a Pokemon Center yet, though. I don't want to go in there without being able to heal. Oh, it's right here, evidently. Did I? Okay, I don't think I talked to this person. Trained to be a Ninja Master. I've already developed my own technique. Ninja Spitball. Ew, gross, stop. This village holds the biggest shrine to the gods in all of Tandor. It also serves as this Pokemon's town gym. Sweet. But we need to heal. Dude, this is gonna be fun. Uh, fairy and dark types, huh? I have steel. And I have... No, I don't have bug, do I? I don't have fighting either. What do you say? If anything happened at the nuclear power plant to the west, all the sins of Tsukunami and Vanessi would be in danger. Great. I bet shit's gonna happen after the gym. <laughs> Maybe. I came here to see if they would train me in the ninja ways, but I got thoroughly trounced at the gym. I gotta train some more. Uh, the Legend Museum to the Northwest has all sorts of interesting things for a ruin maniac like me. All kinds of ancient myths and stuff. You know, I, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed the, uh, I enjoyed the museum. Usually they're pretty crap, but that one was actually kind of nice. Hi, who are you? There are many, so many different fighting styles practiced here. I have years of training ahead of me if I want to master them all. And then another statue of Taika or whatever. And this is probably a training hut. Oh, what's happening? Secret technique, barehanded blade chop. Oh. Is he going to teach me how to cut? So you have arrived at last. Please be welcome to my dojo. I am known as Grandmaster Yoshitaka. He who has mastered six arts. Ah. And you are ADHD man, the one who defeated my disciple Hokage. So his name's Hokage. I don't know. I can see you are quite strong already. Yes, indeed, you are the one I am looking for. I am known as the Master of Six Arts. Endurance, Attack, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. 
Those are the car... Sorry. Those are the core principles of the six arts. In my years, I have taken many disciples. Of them all, there are six ninja, which have uh, attained true mastery of their art. These six masters have less, left Tsukunami Village. Now they travel across Tandor, each training the ways of their style. Oh, right. Those are the little places I found. I have summoned you here to ask of you a favor. You, who have journeyed so far, who seeks to become even stronger. In my old age, I have gained a certain clairvoyance. I can tell that something is coming. Oh, great. The village will soon be in danger. Yeah, I fucking knew it. And I need to gather my disciples together again. But my duties keep me bound here to my dojo. This is why I am asking you. You must journey to them and deliver a message that they are needed. Oh, man. I don't want to walk all over Tandor and find these fucks. Ah, yay. Do I have to? Is this, or is this a side quest? Do this and you will become an honorary member of our ninja clan. I will teach you my secret techniques and you will earn the right to use the sacred Pokemon of Tsukunami, Yadagaru. But bear in mind, some of my disciples, they are stubborn and proud. They will need you to prove yourself to them before they agree to return. From what I hear, you are quite a strong Pokemon trainer already. I believe that you have what it takes to earn their respect. <sighs> okay. I hope I don't have to do that, but I probably will. Bummer. Who's this old lady? There's nothing like watching the serenity of the ocean at night. The gentle reflection of the moon and stars that soothes their s this soul. Did I talk to this guy? So, yeah. Okay. Alright, let's try to go to the gym, and hopefully I don't have to do this ninja thing first. If I were to use things in here, what would I use? Metal links, probably? Um, they could be poison, too. I do have fairy type against their dark type, so that might work, too. So let's put siren. Oops. Let's put Siren Tide in front and hope for the best. Let's give a save after all that. That was a lot of stuff. And I think that's the end for this part. We will pick it up in the next one.